Hello and welcome to the Gaming Elements. Today you're here with Chris who is going to be playing a game that is amazing. I've played a bit of it. It's amazing. It's such a good game. So I thought I'd play it and record some of it. This is Game Dev Tycoon. Game Development Tycoon. It's a tycoon game about developing games. It's a business simulation and you've been transported back in time to the start of the very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. Now, uh, in the next 35 years of my life, I am going to be uh, building my dream company, creating the best selling games, gaining fans and become the leader of the market. Now, I know what you're thinking, 35 years is quite a long time. So, uh, what I've done is I've actually sped things up a bit, so, yeah, uh, yeah, a week will go by in a full, about five, six seconds, we'll be fine, we'll get through it, I'm sure, okay, off we go, okay, oh, oh, before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name, oh, well, with the gaming elements, so we're going to be called Ellie, Ellie, Men El Ellie Mental? Gaming. Yes, oh yes, Bravo. And my name is Chris. Yes. Chris Crispy. Chris Chris yes, Crispy. I don't like that t shirt. Yes. Brilliant. Uh yes, no, yes. 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 Bravo. I don't know what I just did, but bravo. Okay. So with this game, you develop games, so if you've not played it, this is how you play it. You left click and you develop a new game. Um, and when you develop a game, you have things called research points, so you can research new things like new topics. Uh, what else you have in games? You have AI, get the better AI, you know, just like realistic weather full motion camera things like that and then every time you make a game you'll get some bugs in it you'll get some design points and technology points the more design points you get the more artistic it will be the better it will look and technology is how it works so you know the mechanics behind the game and then you have loads of bugs and you have to give it time to work over the bugs but as you go to see now um, this is me living in my mum's garage or garage if you're American um, she's a car and that's me with my awesome computer and a lamp bin notice board uh, yeah with all my notices on it my school books a um a, oh i see what that is it's a uh, poster with that um game what's it called ping or pong pong that's it it's actually put is it called pong anyway so all you have to do you develop a new game so the first thing you do, you've got to decide what game you want, so you pick a new game. Ah, uh, oh, look at these, are actually a really good start. You do Ninja, Horror, Hustle, or Pirate. So Ninja's first, so I'm going to do a Ninja, but you don't have to do it in any order. And a Ninja action game, I think, is appropriate. And you pick your platform, so join it on the G64, or join it on the PC. It costs 20k, but on the uh, G64, it costs 5k on the PC. Um, now I reckon the G64 will be suited for this and it also has the bigger market share because there's only two things out in the minute. Okay, and then you have to name your game. Oh, great combo. Okay, so, uh, oh, I've unlocked this before. Okay, that's what that hint is for. So game, a ninja action game, we shall call it... Um, chop. 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 Exclamation mark, yeah, that's better. Next. So you choose what graphics you want, we unlock further graphics with your research points. Uh, this is a text-based game, a ninja action text-based game sounds awful, so we'll go for a 2D graphics game. V1, it's only 10k. I only have, I've got 40k now. And look, you've already got books, well done, brilliant. Okay, so then this is the main part of the game, you have to decide. Uh, what, what, what do you want, what, um, 
Like what part do you think is important in a game? So in an in interaction game, do I want to be chopping people or reading a story? And I definitely want to be chopping people. Chop. Hence the name of the game, Chop. So then, once you decide based on what you choose, you think is more important. So if you pick all the design parts more important, you get more design points. If you say the technology is more, blah blah blah, you get more technology points. So um, dialogues in a ninja game important? Not really. Level design pretty important. AI again is pretty important because you don't want to be fighting something that's just like like a squid in Minecraft. How rubbish would that be in a ninja game? So. They're pretty important, dialogue's not so important, so okay. Hopefully I'll do some research sometime soon and stop scratching my head. There we go, oh you've done some research and all these, these points here. And over time, well you'll see, you'll see. Is world design important in this game? Mm, a little bit, you know. But I think graphics are definitely more important. So we'll go for that one, should we? Oh, look at him. Look at all these points he's getting. Eight, eight design, nine technology. How we, oh, 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 oh. Very good. Now, see, you have to wait for him to work out his bugs. And occasionally he'll do an extra bit after it's actually finished. So then you can be finished. So this is Chop. It's just an overview. It tells you, and you can level up and then you can unlock certain things to research, etc., etc. So once you release a game, obviously the first thing you're gonna do is give it to the press, and they will review it. And you get four reviews, and they can be pretty brutal. So what's it, what are they giving me? An eight. Very enjoyable. Stargate. Fantastic. What about the seven? Not enjoyable. It's all right for the first game, isn't it? Uh, seven, se seven, good game by Game Hero, and a seven again. So that's pretty good. Beautiful. It's a beautiful game. Fantastic. So obviously, ga Elemental Gaming, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, Chop. It's got to be done like that because it's got the exclamation point at the end. Uh, the game received favourable reviews, which such with with a bad. With such a good start, gaming elemental get gay with such whatever. Yeah, we're gonna get fat lots of fans. And so you got fans up here. So obviously the more fans you get, the more sales you get. So every time you sell something, we have got 59 fans. Look at that. Woohoo! And then obviously if you sell games you get more money. Achieve a company sales record with over 10,000 units sold. Very good. Okay. So, let's go and develop another game. The more games you develop, the more money you get, which means you can upgrade. I'm going to have a pirate game. Pirates Adventure? RPG? What does it say about RPG? Adventure? We'll go for Adventure. And we'll call this one uh, the, the Seven Seas. Seven Seas. The Seven Seas. Arr, because you sail the Seven Seas. Does that need an apostrophe? Who knows, the, who knows the grammar? Seven C's. Hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it with that one. Yeah. <sighs> so, yeah, the update. I know it's not a bit of video out. In the, okay, story, quests, that's quite important to this game. Yeah. So, obviously, a lot of games. Uh, we've posted two videos and not much else. If anyone's watching and wondering why there's only been two videos and blah, blah, blah. It's because I've moved to university lately. Uh, dialogue should be up. Level design. AI is not that important, is it? An adventure game. But you can come right down. Uh, yeah. Um, and so I've not. I've actually got into them a flat or anything, so it's not happened yet. But we will resume. Obviously, if you see watch this video, it means I've got internet and I can upload videos to YouTube. Uh, but at the minute. I'm just going to record some games, obviously single player, um, and just see how things go. So world design, that's pretty important in a pirate adventure. Graphics, not so important. Sound, arr. yeah, that's really important. That was a pirate impression if you didn't get arr. Recent market share suggests that Govador, Govador, 
G64 is certainly outstanding competitors in the PC sector. Consumes with further lower price, greater availability, and the flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. Very good. Experts say that this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Now, if anyone's going to watch this play, actually play this game, make sure you make sure, make sure you make sure the bugs aren't there. If you release a game load of bugs, you'll only have to make a patch. It'll just cost you more money. It's actually cheaper just to wait. Uh, oh, a new record for design. Very good. Well done, little me. Very good. So, uh, the seven C's um, reviews are in. Oh, oh, oh. Seven again, nice experience. Thank you, Star Games. Very good from Informed Gamer. Their folks on World Design served this game very well from Game Hero, thank you. And good game from all games, like seven. So that's 14. We got 30 out of 40, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So how's the sales going to look? Oh. Oh, that's pretty good. Look at that. Oh yeah. According to rumours, the Japanese company to come there. Why can't I speak? The Japanese company Ninvento. I wonder how they came up with that name. Strange. Just such a strange thing. Oh. Sounds a lot like I should deja vu. Planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento. Ninvento? No. Is known for the widely successful arcade game Dinky King. Ah, I didn't know you could replace O's with eyes. Well, there you go. Many industry experts doubt the home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what we will deliver. Well, people, we definitely know what's going to happen here because we have the power of hindsight. Do we do? Are people like buzzing about game consoles nowadays? Are people excited for the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4? Of course they are. So this is going to be big. So we want to invest and make games for it. And FYI, this game is so up to date. It actually has the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One in it. So it's very exciting. Ah, that's right. So what we're going to do now is do a bit of research. Research into something. Now we can do new topics and unlock werewolf, zombies, or surgery. So I'm going to unlock zombies. <sighs> um, oh, can we make 25k? 25k, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Oh, we're li oh yes, fantastic. Go on, 26. 26? Oh, so close. 25, that's pretty good. 180,000 whatever we're in. Okay. Right, let's do a new game. Actually, can we, can we research a bit more? Custom game engine need 50. And what you do is you develop your own game engines. Um, actually, this has been action, wasn't it? To, um, what would be a good name for the zombie game? The Undead. Now, if I name any games that are already a name of a game, I don't mean to. Like, if I, like, I'm not going to make a zombie game and call it Call of Duty or something like that, because... Obviously, but if I do it by accident, don't post in the comments, you can be... Tess. Te an inventor, Tess. Very nice. It's going to come out early next year, okay. But we're making The Undead, which is a zombie. Again, this is an action game, so no one really cares about the story. It's all about the gameplay. If you're playing Call of Duty, do you care about... Uh, you don't really care about the story, you want to shoot things, don't you really? AI is pretty important. Dialogue is pretty important. That's, well, not that important, but you do need some. I mean, how are you meant to have your lovely chats with Russians? Because that's my favourite bit. Um, in very few Call of Duty games I've played, I do like talking to the Russian people. I'm not sure which one it was in, but I did a sniper mission, I think, in Russian. It was quite fun. I like sniper missions because it doesn't require loads of skill. You just you don't have to be good at FPS. <coughs> Sorry, I'm dying. You don't have to be good at FPSs to, uh, to, to, to win, really, do you? Ah, oh, so. Oh, look at 
got loads in here. Look at that. Uh, the first reviews of the undead have come in. Let's hope they're good. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, oh. Has its, has its moments. Could have been better. Damn it. Six. Shows potential. Six. Quirky but good. Oh, that's nice. Right, so we've got 38 research points. We still can't do any more research. I don't want to waste my research points. I'm impressed by your talent. I'm in the contracting business. I mean, use your skills like yours. If you're ever short of cash, just let me know. Very good. So what this is, is contract work. You get three weeks to do it. If you do it all, by getting these amount of points, you get 24k. If you don't, you get a penalty of 5k. Now, I don't really concentrate on them because unless can't afford to bring out a new game. So I'm going to develop a new game, but first, before I develop a new game, there's a thing called a game report, and you can just go through the games you've done, select it, and as you can see, purple bar, you're doing a game report. Uh, and you get research points for it, clearly. Um, so the test has been released as well. So the post round says, Graphics seems to be very important for this type of game. Platform, genre, match, action, RPG, yes, good. So you want a lot of graphic, but and the G foot 64 is pretty good for it. Okay. So let's let's bring out one game, a ninja game. And because it's an action, so that was good. And what was the other one called? It was Chop. This is what we chop suey. Suey exclamation mark. It's vital that you put exclamation marks at the end. Right, so you can make these new systems. You can use new systems that obviously you need a license to, so that costs 80 grand. Good buy money. But it's good to, you know. <coughs> obviously, you want to make games for the latest console, so why wouldn't you do that? This is Chop Suey and Interactions. They said a lot of graphic, didn't they? Uh, no, no story requests. Oh, not. We'll have a bit more engine this time. We said a lot of graphic. It's very important. Graphic, graphic. Let's not forget graphic, 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 graphic. Okay. Dialogues, no need for them. AI. A bit more AI, maybe. Level design down a bit. Let's try that. But you just got to find that balance. But once you've got the balance, you can start manufacturing games that you know about. So. World design, not important. Sound, not very important. Graphic, very important apparently. So we'll try it. Um, the Undead is now off the market, 17,000 music, music, generating 125,000 K in sales. K. Oh, uh, make sure you got no bugs. There was no bugs for that one. I think that's the first game I've ever done. Right, 14. Just try and get a nice balance between the two. That's quite good. New record for both, so it's going to be a decent game. Leveled up to level 2, go Chris B. And release the game, and let's just see how the, re how the research, how the reviews come in. First reviews for new release game, Chop Suey, has come in. And they're shit. Brilliant. I followed their advice, and they're not good at all. Brilliant. That sucks. Oh, it's alright. I mean, Alright, eight. Oh, eight. Oh, that's a six. Okay. Well, I think Game Hero was either very generous or the other three Star Games, Informed Gamer, and all games were just being very mean. They're in a very bad mood. They're not happy. Right, before we go today, we're going to do a little bit more research because we have our 50 points. Custom Game Engine. Let's unlock it. So we'll do the research. And on that note, people, I will see you all next time. I hope you enjoyed this. If you didn't, don't watch again. If you did, please like and subscribe. And write any comments of any games you want me or TJ or me and TJ to play. Um, and yeah, it was nice. It was, it was nice to record again. It was good. So I'll, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Oh, our research is complete. Bye-bye.